Hey friends, um, long time no haul. I actually attempted to film a haul last week and it was a hot mess. It just did not. There, It was chaotic around here, there was a lot going on and then I finally, I think, yeah, I finally ended up picking up, picking up my camera again later once stuff had like calmed down. Um, and my battery was dead so then I just gave up. Um, but it's nice to see you all again. I have not posted a video in a few weeks, so I'm excited to get get back get back with it. Um, I think the last time I did a haul was before we went to Hawaii, I believe. I think that's when it was. Um, yeah, I think that's when it was. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we went to Hawaii and we pretty much just ate junk the entire time. Um, we just did not eat well. So when we came back, we went full-blown keto for that following week, and it was brutal. And I just don't think that method worked for us um, to go from, like, literally eating, like, processed food, whatever we wanted. We were on vacation. Like, we were having fun, enjoying ourselves and stuff, and I wouldn't change anything about it. But it was just too, like, polar opposite to go from, like, one from one to the other. So now we're kind of in the in a more... Um, low carb in the sense that we're not eating like pretty much anything processed. I mean, you know, on keto, like you can't even have fruit. So we're eating fruit, um, and other, other, you know, things that have carbs, but we're not doing like any processed food. So that's kind of where we are now is we're going down like a more like clean eating path. Um, and you'll see that that's kind of like reflective in the hall. Um, these are just... <laughs> gagging on something um so you'll you'll see that today one thing i want to mention before i even jump in the one thing i forgot to even put on my list was snack stuff for sarnan and i like i should have gotten like roasted turkey and um some more like veggies and i got some fruit but not a lot of fruit I just feel like that's definitely something I'm gonna have to pick up midweek, and I also know I'm gonna have to get eggs midweek. So, just an FYI. Um, so you guys know the drill. I'll show you my list. I'll show you everything I got, and then I will tell you how much I spent. I did have to go to Target today, so I went to Trader Joe's first, and then hit Target, and I got a lot of my, a lot of my grocery at Target today. Trader Joe's was an absolute madhouse, which. It normally is. I feel like doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter what Trader Joe's you're going to, it's usually insane, especially on the weekend. But it was so crazy, specifically the canned good aisle, that I couldn't, I literally just like pieced out, got what I got, and then got the rest at Target because I was going to lose my mind. Um, so anyways, let me show you uh, my list for the week and then we'll jump into it. All right, so it's a pretty like, I feel like this is a pretty condensed list for the week. Um, I'm doing picadillo beef with spaghetti squash. Then I have a soup that's frozen that I'm gonna defrost for Tuesday. Wednesday's Halloween, so we're getting um, takeout before we go trick or treating. And then Thursday and Friday, both days we're, I'm doing vegetarian chili. So, it, you know, one meal covers two days. One was from the freezer, and then we're not even gonna be eating, um, you know, out of the fridge one night. So that's kind of why the list is a, a bit shorter. In terms of lunches, I'm doing. Um, Meatballs and spaghetti squash, and I'll have all these recipes listed um, in the description box below. These meatballs that I've been making, they're, oh, what are they, ground turkey, and then you mix in like chicken sausage, and it, they are so good. So I actually have a couple meals left in the fridge from the week, and then I have meatballs in the freezer, so I didn't have to buy any type of meat for the lunches, I only had to buy the spaghetti squash. So we have produce, we have canned stuff, we have meat. Um, pancakes and bread for Daisy. I don't know why I lumped those together because pancakes are frozen and the bread's not. Dairy, um, which the probiotic I'll get to. I'll get to when we get there. Um, snack stuff for days and then, uh, drinks. All right, so also, if you're wondering why, I think you probably noticed in the, in the beginning why this was open, my fridge is making this ridiculously loud, annoying humming sound only when all the doors are closed. So for, for the sake of filming this haul, that door has to be open. All right, so let's start with produce. We got bananas and kiwi for Daisy. I picked up some limes. Um, I got some avocados. When we were on keto, we were eating bacon all the time. And it, it just kind of turns into like 
your normal breakfast because you're trying to hit that fat marker. Um, so bacon is like totally normal to have every day, but now we're kind of starting to, to transition out of that. Not give up bacon, but now we're gonna be doing eggs and a uh, half of an avocado in the morning. So I picked up a ton of avocados, two bags of diced onions, some grape tomatoes, um, oranges mainly for Daisy, but I think these are gonna be probably for us too. And then um, two apples to do like apples and peanut butter. I thought that that would be a good snack. Again though, I really skimped on the snack stuff. I'm gonna have to go out at some point and get more. And then like I said, the spaghetti squash for lunches. Then we have bread for Daisy. And then Daisy's snack stuff, the usual, um, the white cheddar puffs, the peanut butter puffs. She really likes these. Um, I didn't get her this exact one um, last week. It was a sweet, it was like sweet and salty, but I thought ter uh, teriyaki is the closest to like sweet and salty. So um, I picked two of these up. She just had one with her lunch. And then um, y'all know I love these fruit bars. So I picked up the apple and coconut and the apple and banana. What do you need, love? More dish. More what? More dish. More oranges? Yeah. Okay, go talk to daddy. Yes, I'm going to order more of this. Okay, no, this. Okay, but you have to sit in your seat because otherwise Weesey's going to get it. We don't want Weesey to eat it, right? No way. All right, then let's move on to dairy. I picked up um, this ravioli for Daisy. This is one of her favorites. Um, I picked up cheese at Target. Tar Target. <laughs> Target. Um, Y'all know, like, if I'm going to go to Target anyway, I'm going to get, like, any and all shredded cheese or sliced cheese there because it's just way cheaper than Trader Joe's. Um, and then yogurt for Daisy. This is the pear and peach um, one. Um, and then, okay, here... Then I picked, did I already say this? I got this block cheese. I feel like I'm all over the place. I got this Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. I've never had this one before, but it looked so good. This will be good for snacks. Sour cream. And then I picked up two of these at Target, these Suja. They're probiotic waters. Um, and let me explain why I got these. So when we got back from vacation, I, I don't even know like why I thought of this, but I kind of had an idea to, instead of giving Daisy um, yogurt in the morning, that I would give her like a probiotic drink so she could get all the benefits of like bonus probiotics and um, and it was just kind of a little bit more fun for her to like have what we called a treat um, in her sippy cup. So she has been eating an egg in the morning a scrambled egg, some pancakes, and then her probiotic drink. Well, I was like, oh, I'll just get the probiotic stuff at um, Target. And the only ones that they had had crazy sugar. The ones that I get, it's like eight grams of sugar per serving. The That yogurt is nine grams per serving. And the probiotics that they had at Target was, they were like 20 grams of serving. So I'm like, I'm not buying this for her. There's no way. So I was like, for this week, I'm just gonna get yogurt because I don't feel like going to another store, but I know she's gonna want her treat in the morning with her sippy cup with her special treat in it. So I picked up this, it's the same benefit. It's still probiotics, but it's just like water. It's like enhanced water um, with like crushed raspberries. So that's that. I just wanted, wanted to explain that. This is not something I normally would buy, especially given the price but I know it's gonna be Meltdown City if she does not have her treat because she's so used to having that um, probiotic like smoothie in her sippy cup in the morning, so that's that. All right, so not a lot for meat this week. We have bacon, some ground beef for the chili that I'm making. Um, I got two things, actually I got three things of kombucha. Um, I, I mean, they're healthy for you and I feel like it just kind of spices up my normal like 24 seven consumption of sparkling water. Um, I really like the health aid ones. They come in kind of like that shorter, round, dark bottle with like a really small cap, but these are like a dollar cheaper. So picked up some of those. Then I got some bubbles. These are just the white wine little cans. And then this is the Lagrangia. They had the Frégené in stock, but um, I bought this last week and I forgot how much I liked it. So I picked that up again. And then we have cans on cans on cans. So in terms of aisle stuff, we have some vegetable broth, um, mac and cheese for Daisy. I needed some more cooking spray. And then the chili I'm doing is a vegetarian chili, so it's like 
it's all veggies. So we got like diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, um, kidney beans, black beans, more kidney beans, tomato paste, some, what's under here? Green chilies, um, I needed chili powder, and then for the Picadillo beef, um, manzanilla olives. And then two things left, frozen pancakes for Daisy, and then M&M's, we have been having popcorn and M&M's, that's kind of like our like dessert slash treat when we're watching our shows you know, after dinner, after Daisy goes to bed. So tonight is gonna be the last night of that and we have plenty of popcorn but we don't have enough M&M's so um, I picked that up. When I say tonight's the last night of that, I just mean we're not gonna be, um, we're not gonna be eating that. We've been eating that like every night or like every other night and we're not gonna be doing that anymore. I do need to get, I don't, I don't think I'll get it midweek with my other stuff but probably next week's grocery trip, I'm gonna get something sweet we are really the type of people that like want dessert and want something sweet after we eat. So I need to pick up something, whether it's like dark chocolate or I don't know, something like sweet but like healthier. Um, also, I didn't get any drinks because we went to Costco and got LaCroix and Izzy for Cernan. And then I had already picked up um, coffee. So that's that. So I spent 85 at Trader Joe's and I spent 30 at Target. So that puts me at 115. And then we did spend like, I think in grocery, we spent 30 at Costco. Um, and that was for applesauce, the Izzy and the LaCroix. So um, not, I don't feel like that's horrible, 145. And the applesauce, LaCroix and Izzy will last more than a week. So. Um, so yeah, that is my haul for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I've learned it's best to not commit to the fact that I'm gonna be uploading more videos and posting more, but I will, one thing I will have going up at some point this week, I don't know if it's gonna be Wednesday or Friday, is a um, an October favorites video. So keep an eye out for that. That much I can promise you. Anything more than that, I don't know. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends.